So this is a follow-up video to the Mystic Forest Burst and its case saga because, of course, as, we, as you know, when we opened the case, there was the COA and everything inside of the actual uh, package, but it was missing some other stuff as well as it was missing what I thought was the other strap for this side right here. Well, it turns out that's not actually what it's missing. The, I thought that this would have another strap that would go over it because that's the way some of the previous generation cases are. But that is not the case with this particular one. This particular one, now inside here, same case, same everything, but this generation of soft shell has Velcro that's supposed to be on there. And it is missing the Velcro that is supposed to be on there. So what you wind up with is nothing else. Now, when they sent this, when, this case, they also sent a goodie bag that has the adjustment truss rod tool, a tool for, I'm not really sure what, I've never, I mean, there's bound to be something that we are supposed to do with that one, with this guy. A polishing cloth, owner's manual, and a really nice Gibson uh, strap. So, this case is the exact same basic setup, but for some reason, on some strange level, this piece right here never got attached. And there's no... Any, there's nothing else that's like I say there's nothing that's missing from it. it just like it almost makes me feel like you could take some black velcro and add it to it to make it work but I didn't know that because I thought that it was like previous generations of the soft shell case where it used to have a strap here a strap over here and then they would overlap and the velcro was there but this is new so this is something that's different I've never seen this particular generation of this case but it was cool that Gibson was willing to send a whole new goodie bag package as well as a replacement case. So this guitar will be going into this case or this guitar is a, the Mystic Forest Burst is actually up for sale. Now, do I want to sell it? No, but there's always something else to buy. And this particular one is just so beautiful that I think somebody else might really enjoy spending some time with it. So, it is for sale on Reverb. You can look in my, uh, you know, Guitars and Gears Reverb shop. But this one is going, and really it's whichever one, this one or the Translucent Cherry, whichever one goes first is the one that goes and the other one gets to stay so if you're looking for a one-of-a-kind at least at this time les paul classic this little guy is up for adoption and like i say but i just wanted to follow up and let everybody know that this is the replacement case and it is different than what i've seen in the past so it's really kind of cool to see something and of course great customer service by Gibson and their people. Uh, now, I will say this. Something was talked about when I was asking them. I said, hey, since you're sending me another case, can we be a hard shell case? And they said that they don't have any hard shell cases available right now to send. It's all going to their American production. Now, if you go and look at places like Sweetwater, you'll see that they have the deluxe cases that like chainsaw style cases but nobody has any of the standard production gibson usa style case and i feel like since i looked at two or three different retailers looking to see if i could find a, a hard shell case that was not one of the deluxe chainsaws I feel like that might be something that they're having a supply chain problem with. But uh, bottom line, they sent a replacement soft shell case with all the case candy that it's supposed to have for the guitar. So 
massive props to Gibson customer service for replacing the case that was apparently defective from the factory. I mean, that's a, that's an odd thing to have happen, but they just, it just didn't get Velcro sewn onto it from the factory. Well, all right, more to come later. Till next time.